Hello and welcome to my channel. It's story time. Yes, it's about Ronald, but this one's a bit different, isn't it? We're now on to chapter four of Ronald Goes on Holiday. It takes Mrs. Ronald on holiday to Turkey. Just in case you were forgetting, it's Ronald. And it's Mrs. Ronald. And Ronald is taking Mrs. Ronald away for a nice well-earned break. Chapter 4. The Jeep Safari Day. I bet they get up to a lot in this day. Let's find out. It was now the day for the Jeep Safari and Ronald was so excited. The tour rep had said they would go off in jeeps, see a water show, see how the Turkish people lived out in the countryside and have lunch at Dim Chai. It all sounded very good to Ronald. They'd also been told they would go off roading be fun. Off they set. Everyone piled into the back of the jeeps. As they drove along, the sun was out and the breeze was cool. It was very welcomed. Mrs Ronald took her funny hat and some of the other mice had baseball caps on. Mrs Ronald was never one that thought she had to conform to fashion. Just as well as her, her hat was rather different. It was white on one side and multicoloured on the other side. No one would lose her in a crowd if she was wearing a hat at the time. She was very proud to do her own thing. The first part of the fun day was to go off-roading. This was very bumpy and very dusty, but Ronald thought it was great fun. Ronald sat on one side of the jeep and Mrs Ronald sat on the other. At times, Ronald was glad of that. Because if Mrs. Ronald had seen the sheer drops, she would have had kittens. And that's not easy for a mouse. Then it was the time of the water show. This bit was great fun. Two of the jeeps would go down into the river and sit and wait. And then the third jeep would come down towards them at a rate of knots and go right through the middle, splashing and spraying the water everywhere. You should have heard the screams. It was very cold. But such fun. Then the jeep would swap places and another jeep would sit down in the middle and the other jeeps and lots of mice would get wet. Brilliant thought, Ronald. The other mice were not laughing so much now as it was their turn to get wet, though. Mrs Ronald's funny hat came in very useful now, keeping the water off of her. Sometimes it pays to be different and do your own thing. As they came out of the river area a lady mouse who lived on the hillside handed them all fresh oranges off her trees they were very nice onwards and upwards to more off-roading which was very bumpy again but everyone had their seat belts on to keep them safe then it was on to a dam the dam was very big but it didn't have any water in it yet as it was still being built everyone got out of the jeeps and had a refreshing drink of tea and water nice drink stuff the locals were baking bread and showed the visitors how it was done. Everyone was given a talk on how the dam was being built and when it was expected to be finished. Then it was all back into the jeeps. Here's one of our jeeps. Good, isn't it? After another bumpy ride, it was lunchtime and all the jeeps drove to Dim Choi, which was a restaurant on floating tables in the river in the middle of a mountain. It was very nice. There were waterfalls to see, and this was a welcome break from the bumpy jeeps for Mrs. Ronald. All the guests were given the option of sitting at a floating pontoon or a more stable pontoon to eat their lunches. Mrs. Ronald opted for the more stable pontoon. It was lovely, the sound of the water and big soft, and soft cushions to sit on. Very nice. Ronald had fish to eat and Mrs. Ronald had chicken. The fish looked really nice and Ronald thoroughly enjoyed it. They also had fresh Turkish bread and fresh fruit to finish off. Lovely. This is where they were sitting, little floating barges, two, two seats and a table and in between on the water. Once lunch was finished, it was soon time to get back into the jeeps again but not before Ronald had said hello to two camels. 
He had spotted them and wanted a ride, but was not sure if it was allowed or if they had time before the jeeps had to move on. He made his way over to the two camels and before he knew it, he was being helped up on one of them. He was told to hold on tight. And then the camel got up first onto his back legs, which was a good job Ronald was, Ronald was holding on tight. He would have gone flying off and then it got up onto his front legs. Very high. Ronald thought this was very exciting. The camel was led around a small distance in a circle and Ronald bobbed about on its back. Look at me! Ronald called out to Mrs Ronald, who was waiting ready with the camera. She took several pictures of Ronald on the camel to remind him of that part of the day. The ride for Ronald came to an end all too soon and he was so pleased to have been able to have a ride. Mrs Ronald was beckoned over to the camels for a ride but it was not her kind of thing. She kindly said, no, thank you. It's our camel. It's a strange looking camel. It is a camel. Back into the jeeps once more and off they set. Up and over the road tracks. And now they all, all had had lunch. It was a good job that the seat belts were adjustable. They all had bigger tummies now. Next stop was a tur typical Turkish home. Everyone got out and walked down a small hill to get to the house. They were told to be careful, as the ground was slippery and dusty. And when they got to the house, they were offered homemade tea. They were allowed to see in the house in small groups, as it was not very big at all. Mrs Ronald liked this bit of the trip. It's funny how ladies like to see in other people's homes. It was quite small and bare, really, in furniture. Ronald had made a joke and said that Mrs. Ronald was not to complain about his decorating ever again. It was a very basic brick house, which was built over 96 years ago. That is an old house, isn't it? Once the talk was over and the visitors had time to reflect, then it was back onto the jeeps for the last bit of the trip that day, which led them back to the starting point. What had been taking place throughout the day was a video film and a camera shot. Copies of these would be available for the people on the trip to purchase to take home with them as a reminder of their lovely exciting day. When they got back to the starting point, it was a film show of the video of that day. Even though they're all pretty tired by now, it was fun to see themselves on film. Ronald and Mrs Ronald decided to have a copy of the video. And it was copied down onto DVD so that they could play it at home to remind themselves of the good jeep safari they had had on their holiday in Turkey. Ronald was keen to show it to the other churchgoers at home. It would be a good way of sharing their holiday with other villagers. He thought it would be good for young and old to see and share in other people's ways of life, especially for those who were not able to travel. This is the, holiday, this is the DVD put into the case. This is Ronald. We know Ronald, don't we? At the end of it, at the end of the day, Ronald was ready on his, hol in his hotel again and he was going to write his special words. Chapter 4, Special Words Thank you God for keeping us safe and showing me that you are with me all the time. And he signed it, Ronald. I do hope you're enjoying these stories couple more chapters to come, so don't miss any of them. Do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.